Welcome back, everybody. NBC sports broadcaster and Kentucky boy Kenny Rice has just launched a brand new podcast, and he's here today to tell us all about it. It's focusing on the personalities and business side of the horse racing industry. Kenny, great to have you with us. Called the Kenny Rice Horse Racing Show. That's Lee, right. Great to be with you all. They said, "What do you want to call this show?" I said, "How about calling it the Horse Racing Show? That way, when you're going through your YouTube channel, mm -hmm. right, you can say that must be a show about horse racing." Yeah, and simplistic. So, <laughs> and so they started looking around and they found a website that was available and our website is the horse racing show dot com. Okay. Oh, Who knew? there you go. Who knew? Right there. That was easy. We keep it simple and we just try to talk to personalities and have some fun and uh, it's not a handicapping show, but we'll talk about that from time to time. But uh -huh. it's basically v anywhere from veterinarians, owners, breeders, those that buy and sell horses, as well as jockeys and all. But yeah. you being a renaissance yes, man, you know. <laughs> you're going to end up expounding on so many other topics, aren't you? It's not just going to be strictly horse racing. Lee, fancy you should bring that up. Uh -oh. Yeah. Because this week is our Super Bowl show on the there horse racing show. Okay. Ooh. And uh, our guests are Bill Parcells, who won two Super Bowls with the Giants. Oh my gosh. And is a horse owner. Wow. And then a friend of mine, I've worked with him for several years, uh, uh, Fred Goodelli, who is a multiple Emmy Award winning producer, Sunday Night Football. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's produced Super Bowls and Kentucky Derbies. That's where I worked with him on the Derbies. Okay. It's so a good tie-in. Yeah, so we tied it in. We're just having fun like that. Yeah. And, and uh, you know, I think it'll be, it's something I enjoy. This is uh, like the vanity project. And then yeah. we have a vet from Rudin Riddle come on each week. So we get that the inside sponsor, horse stuff. Right, too. Aren't they Did I say that? No, I just slid <laughs> that in. Oh, what a co coincidentally, guys. I just that mentioned that. that yeah. is, I just mentioned that. So it's weekly? It is weekly. Okay. It goes up. You can see it on the YouTube channel. Follow us and like us on Facebook. Uh, they told me to is. say that. Yeah. Okay. And uh, oh. we're on Twitter oh. at Horse Racing oh. Show. You Start are so technology savvy, Kenny. Well, Don't let anyone tell you. I different. took a selfie that I'm going to tweet out of us, the three of us. Look at that. And you know, I mean, I'm just, 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 just like it's Mike special. Pegram was on our first show. Mike Pegram last week. He's great. He's a great friend. Oh, so, real quiet. I think we've got a clip from a recent episode. Okay. Here we go. All right, let's take a look. Twenty second to the horse race. Racing show, a simple show that tells you about horse racing each week. When they said, "Who do you want as your first guest?" without hesitation, I said, "Mike Pegram is the only one I want to get this show on the road." Uh, I've known him for years. He's a great friend. I don't know any owner that enjoys racing as much as Mike, and really enjoys when he wins or when he gives it a try. And, of course, you know, real quiet, silver bullet day, great horses that he's had among many. And he joins us now from right outside of Reno, Nevada, in Carson Valley, I do believe. Mike, welcome into the show. Thank you, Ken. Right, now, I got a couple of questions for you. Yes. Because <laughs> I watched the first episode, Did by you? the way. I enjoyed it. Thank you. So... You got a turntable on the desk? You never know, Lee. Yeah. You never know. If <laughs> where, it gets boring, I'm going to start spinning the heads. <laughs> where, where is this thing shot? Because it's like a hotel lobby. You got you got people hanging out. We go from various hotel lobbies. <laughs> right. Where, where is this? We could be in a room near you someday. Uh. If you hear noise next door, it's probably me doing a show. But, uh, <laughs> but oh, a great friend of mine, Scott Hall, he's the one that puts all this together. He has a studio, Screen Eye, that he's done a lot of work for uh, over the years. And he used to work for Steven Seagal, by the way. He was his personal assistant for years. You are the name dropper. And I just drop it. I drop your and Haley's name every time I go out. <laughs> and uh, so, uh, yeah, so he's uh, he does it at his uh, studio, which is located on what we would know as the old drag strip. Oh, of Nicholasville yeah. Road. Okay. So I have to drive all the way to Jessamine County to tape this right. this week. Mm. Mm. Okay. Well, that's a, quite a haul for you then, isn't yeah. it? It's, it's yeah. a great new project for Kenny, and it's a great new project for you to check out. You can learn all, as you said, personalities and all the different aspects of the horse racing industry that we love in Kentucky, but we not, might not know that much about, actually. Through Kenny's perspective, that's which right. is we're, twisted, and that's why we love it. Uh, we, here's the box, and then we're here. For yeah. horse racing fans, I think they'll like it once they start watching. Yes, definitely. you got to check it out. Thanks, Thanks, my see you, buddy. Yeah. Yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Stick with us. Coming up, Makers Mark Chef and former contestant on Bravo's Top Chef joins us next. We'll be right back.